Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Fears to Fathom, Episode 3, Carson House. This just came out the other day. Very excited to play it. I really enjoyed the first two episodes of Fears to Fathom, which are called Home Alone and Norwood Hitchhike, respectively. You can watch my videos on those if you're so inclined. It's not required viewing. They're standalone stories. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead. How do I play this? How do you play? Oh, you go to episode... <laughs> You go to episodes first, and then you click on Carson House. All right, Fierce Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode three. More episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime, one hour. All right, let's go. Let's check it out. New game. Now, this is uh, developed by a fairly new developer, I believe. The name's Rail. Um, I think they're actually, they're very young. I think they might be 17 or 18 years old. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. Hi, Noah. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's get to for a little background. My dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. Okay. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO, chief operating officer, actually, at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. Oh, I can't wait to do the basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Okay, wait, what? Is this the house? We're at a we're at a laundromat, aren't we? This isn't the house. Or am I doing is this the basic chores? I might be doing the basic chores right now. Uh Oh yeah, that's normal. The Silent Hill 2 staircase leading down into the infinite abyss basement. That's normal. If you click on the bathroom, he goes dot, dot, dot. I guess we'll just go down into the creepy basement. Are we an employee? This is a dream sequence. Speaking of infinite abyss back there, I see you. Yeah, okay, this is a dream. We're gonna wake up. Am I running from something, or...? No? Hello there! Bleach? What? Where did you put it? Where did I put what? Where is bleach? I need bleach! What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, I need bleach! Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. We're asleep in the car. Noah, wake up. You still think you could do this? Oh, by the way, I have my math notebook now. <laughs> it's in the upper right. So I guess I'll go over here. I'll, I'll be in the upper left this time. How long did I doze off for? Or we can say, I got this, Dad. Let's say, I, I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Okay, I got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked. Don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. Dad did not think that joke was funny. <laughs> As it turns out. Bye, Dad. See you later. You're wasting gasoline. It was a nice neighborhood. And it looks a lot like the neighborhood... 
from Home Alone. Actually, from the first one. I can't help but notice my math notebook is rotating in the upper right. Oh, yeah, from the backyard. Is that a mail truck? Kind of late for the mail, isn't it? What about you, huh? What about you? There are other reasons I could have died that night. <laughs> yeah, getting getting pushed along by a car in the middle of the street uh, was one of them. I had to try. I just had to see if uh, if it would let me get hit by a car. I get very curious. Oh, whoa, look at this. Look at this little dip in the driveway. This is no good. Foundation problems. Uh-oh. Better look into that. It should be a nice, even incline. I had to take care of the house. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the to the backyard where you said the rock was. Um, well, there's no gate over here. There's a fake rock, eh? Wait, let's look inside first. Nice, okay. I see there's knives back there. Who's that? It's no one, it's just somebody in a truck. Ooh, is this the, is this the rock? Good dog, good home, that's what I like to hear. <gasps> Nothing better happen to the dog. Look at this tiny little kiddie pool. Oh my God. I got a little wet. Okay, TMI bro. If you're gonna dig into the ground, you might want, you might as well make the, the pool a little bit bigger. There's no dog. Oh, there's the dog. <gasps> we could pet the dog. Pet the dog. I pet dog. I pet dog. Look, he's got his toys. Oh, look, he's walking around now. You get another pet. Nothing better happen to this dog. Wait, there's two dog houses? There's this one. And then there's this one that says boy on it. Boy. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Okay, let me just tell you something about this. Let me tell you a little something about home care, all right? Weeds grow back here. You do not want to be the one weed whacking and edging back there. How are you supposed to even get to it? The fact that it's evenly cut amazes me. Whoever did that, you did an awesome job. Hey, dog. You know what I just noticed? It's just open on this side. The dog's not corralled in the backyard. No, 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 no. Don't go out there. Oh, he... He borfin at the he borfin at the car. Good dog. Okay, wait. This is my this is my text message um history with Evelyn Cooper. Her first text to me was, This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. That was yesterday. Wow. We said pick up. And then she said, I really wish you could come tonight. And I said, me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. Okay. You did it for the hundred bucks and for the snacks, all right? Don't act like you did this for your dad, who you sassed in the car. You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me, Raffle. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you got some making up to do here. The Grudge next weekend, wink, wink. 100%, 100%, wink, wink. And then they did little anime faces. Well, she did. We didn't do an anime face. We're, we're a little bit less cringe than her. This little baby, and then she sent pictures of her cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava, Raffle. IKR, I just had this weirdest dream ever. And apparently Evelyn doesn't give a shit about my dream. That's too bad. Oh, there's the fake rock. Oh, and it's got a key in it, okay. See you later, doggy. Now, I can't help but notice, they're setting up some backstory here with Kara. I really disappointed him with Kara. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I wonder if we're gonna run into our ex-girlfriend. Wow, very creepy. Do not disturb for any reason. Okay. Yeah, I got it. What is this? What do you shoot in here? I had to pee. Oh, hold it. We're investigating the green screen room. 
Okay, that's not where we pee, I don't think. Um, the Statesman. Ooh, very cool. Okay, first of all, okay, home security 101, we want to leave the front door wide open. No, no, no. I thought about doing that for fun. I really had to be, okay. Well, don't piss yourself. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. It's a little too self-aware there. Just get the HQ residential house uh, garage and stick that in there. Nobody will know. Wow, look at all the beverages. Look at all these. Look, there's there's so many so the soda, there's water, there's juice, milk. Uh, oh, oh, you can you can individually take out everything from the. Oh, yeah, I'm house sitting. All right, where's the bathroom? Bathroom, 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 bathroom. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, the master suite. Don't make me pee. Oh, come on. Dude, you're missing. Your aim is piss poor. No pun intended. How much water did you drink? Clean that up. What are you doing? Clean that up. Oh, it just. It's gone. Okay, wash your hands. Escape to read messages. Like I'm gonna use my phone without washing my hands. I just peed. Whatever. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. Really appreciate you doing this. Sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? Okay, I guess. How do we not? Uh, my bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha. He's my dad. Okay. Evelyn hasn't asked us about our dream. You know what? I'm on Evelyn's side here. Nobody wants to hear about your dream, okay? Just, I don't know who needs to hear this. Nobody wants to hear about it, okay? They're just, they're nodding politely, but they don't give a shit. Okay, I'm telling you this because I'm honest with you. We all know that, right? But they don't care, okay? I don't care. Mother, father, brother, sister, wife, husband, they don't care. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I want to remind you, it's his dinner time. If you get him his dog food from the basement, why is it in the basement? Right on it! All right. All right, Noah, you need to cool it a little bit. I'm on it, Mr. Carson! You can count on me to get his dog food from the basement! <laughs> They're not asking you to cure cancer, kid, alright? They're just asking you to pick up some dog food. Here I go. How do I get rid of my math notebook in the corner? The basement was a little too dark. Okay, well, there are these magic things called light switches that you can press. Then I'll make it a little bit lighter. What? Stop texting me. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Oh, God. Noah really wants a tip. We'll see if the Carsons believe in tipping. The storage room. Okay. Are these beers that are just setting out? Okay. How old are we again? Oh, he said upstairs. So when he said upstairs, I thought he meant the ground floor, because it's upstairs from the basement. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Yeah, this is a pretty large house, yeah. Another gigantic bathroom. Very cool. You know what, one thing I appreciate about this game, and about all the Fierce Fathom games, actually, is that uh, the house properly decorated. Look at this. This is where you keep your towels. Okay, here's where you keep some toiletries, right? Some more toiletries, a laundry basket. You know, you got the hand towel here. You got a, you got appropriate pictures for the bathroom. You got like flowers and landscapes and stuff. You don't have weird crap, like some, some ancient, like 18th century woman going like, or anything like that. You don't have like black and white pictures of like oh, a farmer couple. You have normal stuff in your bathroom. I like that. And it's and it's not like sterile clean either. You got like a folded up towel here. You got toiletries here. 
You got you got stuff on the counter. I like it. It's good. It's just a little thing, but it makes it makes the area seem lived in. Which is important for me to get immersed. Now, two laundry baskets. That's pushing it. Who owns two laundry baskets? Yeah? Oh, you can't turn the lights on in here. <laughs> Very dimly lit. Okay, we'll look for the storage room. I assume the storage room is going to be... Oh, this has got to be it. Right, 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 right. Uh, flashlight. Okay. I'm looking out there. <laughs> I'll never forget playing episode one, Home Alone, and realizing that I could look outside and somebody was watching us. That was really cool. That was a good, that was a good moment. How many bedrooms are there? Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. Watch, I can throw the flashlight. <laughs> Oopsie. Weird smell of wet clothes. I like this recliner, or yeah. First of all, you can't really recline in it. Actually, it's not a recliner. It's just a chair. I guess it's his reading chair. Whoa, walk-in closet. Mr. Carson's living at large. Now see, this is the shit I'm talking about. Is this Mr. Carson's like daughter or wife or something? Cause that would make sense. If it's just some random chick though. Whoa, this place is huge. Now I didn't forget. Oh well, I wasn't even gonna try to open it. Well, yeah, you gotta get the server out of the way first. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Nice. Well, we got. Don't forget, we gotta get Zeke's food out of the ba uh, basement. That's what we got the flashlight for. I like how the flashlight says Carson on it, like you would ever get it confused. This is a very valuable flashlight. Okay, and we can't let anyone else mistake it for their own. You know, I, it's a little worrisome that Zeke's food is just like stashed somewhere in the back of the basement. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Carson has a security camera in the basement, but it doesn't appear to be on. Oh, here it is. Bubba dog food. Yeah. Well, how do we, how do we get it? Wait, oh, I got a can of it. I didn't get the bag. Okay. All right, we got the can. I assume it just opens and we don't need like a can opener or anything for it. Yeah. No worries, doggy. We get you food. Had to open the can. Oh my God. Okay, can opener. If I was a can opener, Mr. Carson, do your dishes. If I was a can opener, where would I be? There. Well, that, that's like a little tool. Oh. So it was this, but I had to pick this up first. Ah, uh, okay. Well, whatever. Hope nobody came inside while I was messing around with that. <gasps> Did I make that sound? Oh, he's sniffing. He sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff food. Let's watch the dog eat their food. Look, Mr. Carson just leaves his cans out here. Who would do that? What a slob. Hey, kid. Heard from Walter. Your computer whiz, huh? Oh, no. I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird lately. And my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, yeah, you got a whole security system set up here. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will never understand why people substitute yeah for yeah. They don't make the same sound. Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. Okay. Uh, Zeke, you're taking a long time to eat, so I'm just going to go inside. Oh, yeah, Mr. Carson, I can go do that. You know, is it really saving you that much time to leave off two letters? Two integral letters, might I add? Now, let's go into the server room, I think. Couldn't open it from there. Oh, yeah, that's the one that won't open. What? Alec Carson, 5387. 
Okay. Right. Let's get on here. Um, I remember I was doing calculus that night. Calculus? Nobody needs to know calculus. You can fail that class if you want to. Um, five, three, eight, seven. Oh man, like I got it. I mean, I try not to be too uh, impressed with myself, but I'm pretty impressed with myself. Guess the flag. Okay, yeah, there's something wrong with your computer. <laughs> I tried to launch Guess the Flag, and it. <laughs> It gave me a fatal error. What's egg.exe? Okay, something's going on. Test one. Guide to being a what? A better person.mp4. No way. In this video, we'll be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. What? Who is this? Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. Being an asshole will discourage... Can I, can I scrub through? Oh, sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. What is going on? Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? It sounds like he just said hello there. The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. I hope you're not selling this, Mr. Carson. Um, brought to you by, uh, okay, I see D's nuts on there, so hilarious. Uh, yeah, maybe that goes in the, back in the recycling bin. What is test one? Unknown file type. Mr. Carson, what are you doing on this? Internet browser. Free trial for limited period? Dude, you have so much malware, it's insane. Remove malware. Oh my god. What? Okay, let's check out INET then. Dude, something is wrong with this. Bruh, that's terrible. Can we do some calculus? I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. <laughs> well, tough titties, bro. You're in school. Time to do it. Oh, I didn't feel like it. Okay. Now, what what do you do to fix the computer? Free trial. Do I... Oh. Your children catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. No, it doesn't. No, viruses, what is it, 1997? No, oh, antivirus 96. Oh, maybe this is, wait, no, no, no. I'm not downloading antivirus 96. It hasn't been updated in, oh, 25 years. <laughs> I was gonna say 15, <laughs> 25. Okay, I guess we'll download it off of the search.com homepage. I'm sure antivirus96.exe is going to be worthwhile. Let's perform a full scan. Threats found two already? Three? Do you just go around the internet downloading literally anything you see? I'll download that and that and that and that. Okay, let's remove these threats. What are these threats? I'm guessing egg.exe is one of them. Okay, this is a Trojan. Remove. People don't get viruses anymore. Come on. I don't know who needs to hear this. This is just another thing. Also, don't don't just download any old antivirus program. Get like get like a bit defender or malware bytes or some shit. Uh, let's see. It's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid. But thanks. 
drop you a nice tip when I get back. Oh, look, Evelyn cares about our dream now. Ooh, what was it about? She was bracing herself. She was sitting there like, oh, he wants to tell me about his dream. Oh. And then she finally sent that like 45 minutes later. Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on time. Now you gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. See, see what she did there? Now this is masterful deflection by Evelyn. She's like, oh, what was your dream about? But then she brings up a million other things and we get off track. Now we're not gonna tell her about the dream. Very smart. Very smart, Evelyn. Oh, let's take a look at the cameras. Or iNet7. Oh God. Now this is fun. Oh. Oh shit. Zeke's still eating his food? He takes a long time. I've never seen a dog take that long. There's 10 cameras? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to know this. So we got living room, living room, bedroom. You can find them at the market. I'm talking about Blee Market, Montgomery. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Sing again now. Hmm. You can do night mode. Ooh, that's really cool. Look at that. So, so like we can go to the basement, put on night mode, but then we have to turn it back on. Um, so why do we have that in the game again? Uh, what's egg.exe? Reinstalling the program. MSVCR71.dll. What country is this flag? Holy shit. Madagascar? Yemen. Oh god, I'm gonna be horrible at this. Oh no! I didn't think it was gonna be an actual game! Fuck. Hey, Bolivia! I'm so smart. Uh, that's that's what I like to say. I'm I'm very uh, culturally aware. So yeah, I just identified Bolivia's flag. Um, I've never even been there. So is he being serious right now? We just watched him get one out of three flags. He did very poorly compared to me, who would get ten out of ten. Um, why are there? Look, here she is, and here she is again. Okay. Maybe I complimented the interior design of this place a little too soon. I gotta check for the TV. There's a TV right here. What's up? Hello. What is this? Welcome to Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking cat food. We're doing what now? You don't cook I cat, love food. cat food. It's my favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and Ooh. healthy. It's my favorite <laughs> dish. <laughs> it's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food. This is some adult onto swim shit. Conveniently placed pan on a I don't think it, actually I don't even think adult swim would show this. Listen to this song. Oh, maybe not actually. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. What? It's not like hey, that no, at well, all. You're frying something in a frying pan, my man. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Am I gonna be using this for gameplay? Next, we or... dip the cardboard into the milk. Also, I think you should get some, Look get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. Nice. There's some cash in my nightstand. I'm turning this off. I'm very excited to look at Mr. Carson's grocery list. Okay, first of all, we got ranch. It's an American thing, okay? So, for all my non-Americans out there, listen, okay? We just, we dip everything in ranch here, at least in the southern United States. Oh, God, I hate these ads. I'm sorry, Eve, think I gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. It's like 10 o'clock, isn't it? It's not the middle of the night. No, but you're missing the best part. <laughs> I don't think there is a best part in that shit. Anyway, ranch, strawberry jelly, choco spread for Alec, milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only, ketchup. Don't forget milk and eggs. So let me get this straight. You want a bunch of condiments and milk and eggs and peas and rice. Peas, rice, a bunch of condiments, 
and milk and eggs. Do you what? Do you just sit around and eat raw honey, bro? Okay, wait, hang on. We gotta do. We gotta do a check. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close all the doors, and that way, when I come back, if any of them are open, I know some shit's going down. Okay, I just slammed that in my own face. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm gonna close all the doors. If we come back and any of these are open, it's on. Okay. Going outside. Ah! Anybody watching my house? Or not my house, Mr. Carson's house. Can I put the flashlight down? Watch this. I'm gonna put the flashlight right here. Who cares? Let's get on the bike. I had to take care of the house. Wait, I thought I was gonna bike to the grocery store. Oh, cash on his nightstand. Ah. Cash on his nightstand. Okay, right, 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 right. I forgot. We're just some punk kid who doesn't have any cash. Is it? Is it? No, it's not this one. It's the other one. All right, cash on the nightstand. Oh my God, that's a Ben Franklin right there. That's a, that's a hundred dollar bill. My man's gonna spend a hundred dollars on this for your trouble. Get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Ty. All right, here we go. Here I go. I'm stomping on all the flowers. What's up? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Oh yeah, I figured that out. Hi. Let's just go to the grocery store like this. Oh, oh, no! Oh, okay. Yeah, it is, it is this way. Nice. I just knew it. I just knew it. 9.22 p.m. Dude, it's not even 10. You call this the middle of the night? Whoa! Actually, that didn't really work. Nux. Is this where we go? Space to get off. Let's go. This guy is walking in place right here. And speak of the devil. Oh my god, it's Turner and Andy. What are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Eve? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick, I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. I guarantee she doesn't look that old. But then again, guys this age think that like a 23 year old is a milf, so. Ew, I think she's more off like a goth. Goth milf energy. Okay. So what you're saying is she looks like she's like 20. Um, <laughs> Evelyn, leave me alone for two seconds. Are you guys done? When will you grow up, Turner? Let's let's chide him a little bit. Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? I'll say just chilling. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house it for this guy Carson tonight. You mean Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. <laughs> or we could be uber capitalist. Whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. Let's let's be a douchebag. All right, dude. See you at school on Monday then. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna say goodbye. Well, look at this. Now this is MILF energy. See this? Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. Oh, you guys are graduated? He was also very popular for his douchebag pranks he'd pull on other kids. Is this Turner? Or no, this is Andy. This is Turner. Low key, I didn't like the guy. I didn't hate him either. We just never shared the vibe. I'm loving, I'm loving. Oh, I'm loving the tube socks, Andy. Rocking the tube socks in 2023. Now see, th this is what a mom looks like, y'all. All right? Not whatever Kara, she didn't wear makeup, so she looks slightly older, okay? Hi there. Beer sale? Hi, you doing good? Doing good, you? Doing good, use a shopping basket. <laughs> Fine! Okay, ranch. 
We gotta get ranch. We gotta get, is this ketchup? That's ketchup. He wanted only Uncle Tony's rice, right? Okay, we gotta get Chaco spread. I guess spready is what we want to get, right? Um, is this strawberry jelly right here? Sorry. Strawberry jelly and honey. Oh my gosh. You're just balancing all the, watch out! Whoa, this is a magic basket. Look, nothing falls out of it. Now we need milk and eggs, garden peas, and Uncle Tony's rice. Milk and eggs, garden peas. Listen, if there's one thing I'm really good at, it's going grocery shopping, all right? I guess you could say I'm the best at it. You see that I cleaned up just now. Let's get a beer. Let's get some beer while we're here. Um, what? <laughs> okay, chill as art, calm down. Hey, son, do you work here? No. Ha, okay, son, why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? They're out of mustard. Oh, isn't that right? No wonder I couldn't find it, ha. Huh? Thank you, son. Yeah, stop calling me son. Also, you're looking in the refrigerated drinks for mustard. Um, I like how the toilet paper Brand is bidet in brush script typeface, which is a free Microsoft font. But you didn't know that. These guys are always walking into each other. Is this, this is how passive aggressive women can get. This is it right here. Look at them, they're just humming to each other. They're just like, nothing's wrong with me. There's something wrong with you. Something the matter with you? Out of my way, bitch. All right. We gotta, we gotta look for Uncle Tony's rice. Uncle Tony, Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony's long grain rice. We got it. Now we gotta get peas, milk and eggs. Eggs, peas, peas, fresh milk. Okay, we've got everything except peas. Get garden peas, okay, maybe they're canned. Oh, here we are. Okay, yeah, I got everything. Yeah, I got all that. Yeah, I got everything. Like I said, I'm really good at grocery shopping. Hi, should I build this for you? Yes, please. I didn't get anything for myself. Thanks for shopping at Nux, you have a good one. Thanks. Look, what? Wait, there's cereal in here that says great source of fiber. I guess that's what we got for ourselves. Core fashion flash sale. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Get an ice cream now, sweet. <laughs> what are they doing to this poor guy? These these deranged little girls here. What are they doing to this guy? Now when we get back, we gotta watch out. 9.46 p.m. Watch out. Something's up. Well now. I had to pee again. I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. You want me to get off the bike in the middle of the road? No. I had a lot of score to catch up on. Fine, fine. Get off the bike in the middle of the road for all I care. Yeah, just throw it down in the middle of the street. Hope it doesn't get run over, idiot. Okay, we gotta offload this in the kitchen. Now let's take a look. My doors are closed. So far, so good. All right. They kept groceries in the kitchen. Yeah. No? Do I put it here? Like I said, I had to get my on my schoolwork for Monday. Okay, I guess we're just not gonna refrigerate anything. We got milk and eggs in there. We don't keep eggs in the fridge. Zeke, I'm gonna check on you. Aw, Jake taking a little nap in his uncomfy doghouse. These are both closed, 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 closed. Looks like our little test worked. Okay. All the doors are closed. Closing that. And, uh... Yeah, back to, uh... Doing this. I really just had to pee first. Oh my god, you are so annoying. Okay. 
What's going on? Andy's blowing up my phone. Dude, Cedric Carson's right. You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll look it up. What? Roy Carson divorce. Co-founder of BN Media claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. It's not unusual for audience to be no uh, nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. <laughs> what a great little line there. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media, after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife. Former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the uh, said relationship. I see. The rumored infidelity. I like this. <laughs> I like this. This is funny. Wait, they're showing his house? Did I just hear? Someone was at the front door? Oh. Okay, that's not a big deal. Yeah, sure. Hang on, I gotta finish reading. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. I'm coming! I'm reading about Roy Carson's divorce right now. I'm coming. What? What? Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium sized pepperoni pizza, sir. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh my god. Look at him. Look at his shit eating grin. Here. Take. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Uh, I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. Sorry. I mean, your car was like 10 feet away, bro. Nice. Okay. G to throw. Ugh. Pizza. Thought I could watch some TV while eating. <laughs> you like to do that. You like to do that in these games. Where's my lasagna? Wait, hang on. We gotta turn on the TV. I wonder if Jeffrey's still, still, uh, on. Okay. Where's my pizza? Wait, hang on. Wait, what is this? What is this channel 10, man? This is no good. All right. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Oh, wow. We got some from Roy. Now, what do you say? Thank you. Jack. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two squares are you gonna, is, I'll think about spending. Are you going to text Mr. Carson I back and say thanks for the pizza? Hope everything's okay. Text your friends back. Good night, Noah. Hope everything's okay. Sorry, I got caught up with work. No, you didn't. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. With a Z. Oh, what a player. Are we eating an entire pizza? I guess we are a growing young man. Was that in the show? He's still chewing! Stop it! 
I think shit's going down. He's still chewing! Stop it! Okay, I think the game's bugged. I think something with the pizza bugged things out because nothing's happening now. Um, I've been watching TV, seeing if I can get it back, but nothing's happening. So I think I need to restart the game somehow, which there's no way to get to a menu of any kind. So I guess I just have to Alt F4, which is kind of weird. All right, I had to reload the save and get back to where I was. I'm gonna try to completely finish the pizza this time before I get up because I think that was causing an issue some kind of sequence break or I don't know we'll find out though I heard someone at the door again okay but we got to finish Hi eating there. it my name is Cora. oh that was the TV okay let's put the pizza up this time I knew I heard a knock at the door. Hmm, maybe we'll go see who it is. Okay, I should have closed the TV. All right, let's go check this. See what's going on. Oh, oh, there's someone walking away. See, I never got this. What's that? They have a dead fish on my porch? She walked around this side it looked like a woman anyway okay all right so I guess we'll just check out whatever they left I don't like that flowers I didn't know what to make of it bringing this out what the hell I'm going upstairs unknown sender hey how are you what did you have for dinner excuse you I'm not answering that I assumed it was a wrong number uh -oh. it was strange but I dismissed the thought that it was a, as a weird coincidence and moved on Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Right. Right. Yeah, if you think I'm not checking the cameras right now, you're crazy. Okay. Engrossment? Am I fully engrossed? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do I... 1.36 a.m.? As of four and a half years left. Four and a half years. Four and a half hours left. While well, I was in the middle of my school, the power went off. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, if you're going to be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Is it Kara? Bro, we can't check the cameras. In that moment, I was almost certain it had to be another prank by Turner. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, where's my... I just knew guys him, like, very, very well. Where, Where's my flashlight? Besides, him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. Oh, fuck this. Where's the ki Where's the flashlight? Oh. <laughs> that answers it. Okay. I don't know why it was floating there. I like the music. Very atmospheric. Zeke's barking. Zeke's barfing at somebody. He barfing. 
It was suddenly very cold outside. Yo, what's up? What's up, boy? Zeke was acting very weird. You all right? You all right? Who messed with this? He's growling. He's upset. I turned the power back on. I could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Oh, good job, genius. It had to be Turner. He was really trying to piss me off now. Hey, come here. You know the, you know the pit. What the fuck did you hear that? I heard a door. Don't say that to me. What? You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Is that so? Yeah, I know. Dude, if you think I'm not checking the cameras. Oh. It said there was motion. It said it detected motion. Oh, good lord. What the fuck? Did you hear that? Might sound stupid, but I just don't want to overthink things. That door's open. That door wasn't open before. This one, somebody opened that door. Somebody's inside the house. That's, oh, that's no good. That's no good. Clear. <laughs> Clear. Clear. The clock still says it's 9.59. We're in the twilight zone. Okay, second floor, clear so far. What the fuck did you hear? You're snoring. Somebody knocked over all this stuff. Are they outside? in here. Somebody knock this stuff over. 
Huh. Yeah, I don't see I don't see anybody anywhere. Hang on. What? I actually can't go down to the basement. Wait, do you hear? Is Zeke barking? Zeke Borfin? He was Borfin at somebody. Who are you Borfin at? Who are you Borfin at? He hefty? He coming back? He like Mike and Ike's? You like Mike and Ike's? Who are you Borfin at? Oh, now I can go downstairs. What? Well, I don't know if I want to go downstairs now. Listen, if you got an intruder in your home, time to charge around. Make sure there's no place there. Hide. Where the fuck are they? Somebody opened that door. Fine, you know what? I'll just go upstairs and get back to work, I guess. I'll even leave the door open. Yeah, that's right. You heard me? Look, Zeke's fall Zeke's falling asleep. Let me check the cameras. Cameras are good. No, get up! I heard something downstairs. I had to go down and check. All right, yeah, let's go. Listen, I got a flashlight, okay? I'm not afraid to use it. Stop doing that. The oven's on. Oh, shit! What? What are you supposed to do there? Did I get stabbed? I thought I heard somebody brandish a knife. Okay, this door opened. But I I don't think, I'm just gonna stay engrossed. Did you hear that? Now let's check. Oh, somebody went outside. I could swear my life I didn't turn that oven on. Look, somebody's walking outside and one of the knives is gone. One of the knives is gone. Zeke walking around. Zeke, you're doing a poor job of watchdogging, my friend. Poor job of watchdogging. I had to go down and check. Okay. So now what happens? She went outside. But before I turned around and she was right there. Is it Kara? She came out right there. Low keep made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. He? I had to confront him. Oh, I don't think it's a him. I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Escape to text Andy. Okay. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. Quit messing, bro. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark duties at my place, RN. I attribute all that to my lack of sleep. I was aware I have a tendency of being overly paranoid. 
The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. All right. Right. Now I think about it, I should have called the cops. Uh, yeah! But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... The idea never even entered my head. Engrossed in your own thoughts? Back door's open. What? What, Andy? What? Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. I do not care. Look, his, his text message was on the browser. Um, yeah. I felt my heart skip a beat. Oh. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Are you sure you don't wanna? Oh, oh. Are you sure you don't wanna go hide somewhere else? I can hear her breathing. Wow, very calculated walk. Oh shit. She gonna check that one? Oh. She's checking that. She's checking all the all the rooms. outside the door into the room I was in. Well, Noah? she doesn't know that thing doesn't open. Oh. Are you in there? Noah, are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever's happening between us, we can work it out together. How did did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. At least she is not a junkie like you. Whoa. It's different with her. I'm gonna say this is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Oh, that shut her up. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you. If I can't have you. No! It was because it was because I spoke. Oh, she went, huh?
left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Your dad called the cops? But by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. Oh no. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince me one of the cops she didn't... She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the foot, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But that thing that messed with me the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. I see. I got an achievement, survivor. Well, that was uh, Fears to Fathom, chapter three, Carson House. So yeah, one of the tenets of this game series is that it's, it's based on real stories. I don't know if that's true or not, but you know, if it is, then obviously, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, right? Cause anybody can just write a work of fiction and send it in. However, if it's not, if that's just like, you know, cause a lot of horror media uses the inspired by a true story, but there's a lot of creative license taking place. I would say if it's not a 100% true story, then the embellishment of, oh, she was a druggie. So she was a violent stalker is a little harmful, <laughs> a little harmful narrative. Um, doesn't really need to be in there. You know, I think it actually makes it scarier if they're not given the backstory of they were a drug addict, they were mentally ill, right? Not only does it not have like a narrative that is stereotypical and everything, but it also, it kind of leaves more mystery to them. You know, why were they acting like that? I don't know. They're a mystery, right? Again, only if it's not a hundred percent true story, if it has some kind of embellishment, which it kind of thing, it kind of seems like it would just saying this, this one in particular. Um, anyway, that minor criticism aside, I do think this was a little bit of a step down compared to the previous episode. I want to get the positives out of the way first. Like as usual, great atmosphere. I like the music in the background. Um, there's very few games like this out there. It's very unique and it captures this like, home invasion feel that I would say I've only ever gotten from maybe like the Reflect Studios games. Uh, and to a lesser extent, the Chilla's Art games. This is very inspired by Chilla's Art. I see it clear as day now, especially with this one. Um, everything from being in a normal everyday modern situation to, you know, doing little tasks and little chores leading up to the big moment uh, where the horror kicks in. It's very chill as art. And I think it does a lot of that really well. I think there were some things about this game that maybe were a little rushed. Um, things like there, there were a couple of times when I broke sequence, most notably with the pizza thing. And then the game just stopped. I was soft locked. I had to reload in order to make any progress again um some some slightly unfair deaths there like just walking into the kitchen gets you killed um i just think i just think it could have been tightened up a little bit and i i do follow the developer on twitter and it seemed like they they delayed it from like i believe it was originally supposed to be a january 6 release or something like that and they delay it by a few days let me just go ahead and say and this goes for any game developer out there, especially indie ones, especially solo developers. Um, do not feel bad about taking more time. If it means that you're delivering a more polished product, then you should do that. There is, I, I guarantee, I don't care. I know a lot of, uh, a lot of these developers probably get a lot of, frankly, little kids bugging them day in and day out. When's it going to come? When's it going to come? When's it going to come? Um, don't pay attention to the no life kids. All right. They don't have anything better to do with their days, but but the rest of us, 
you know, we we understand that it's going to take time to to polish a game off. So, you know, if it's January 6th or February or, or March or whatever, I'm sure people will be okay with it. And there's no need to, to stress out about, you know, rushing it out. I also felt like with this episode and, you know, this might just be me, but I feel like it was kind of linear to a fault. I maybe Norwood Hitchhike the previous episode was the same way, but it kind of felt like it was a little looser with the sequence that you had to go through. This was very rigid. You did task A, then you did task B, then you did task C. And I kind of wanted there to be a little more room. There was also a lot more self narration in this one, I feel like. Like one of the best moments in Norwood Hitchhike, and actually in the entire Fierce of Adam series, is when you're in the hotel room and the guy's at the door and he's like, hello, hello. And one of the parts that makes it so good is that your character doesn't say anything. There's no running monologue. It's just you're in the situation and you're absorbing the moment. And I feel like in this one, I, I feel like I tried to keep absorbing the moment, but I kept getting interrupted by the main character being like, I was frozen with fear staring at my screen. I should have called the cops looking back, but I wasn't thinking of that. And it's like, I don't need all that. Just let me, just let me get immersed in the moment. You don't need the main character to be monologuing the whole time. I know it sounds like I'm dogging on this episode a lot, but it's just Norwood Hitchhike was so good and it clearly showed the heights that this uh, developer in this series could get to. And I just feel like Carson House was kind of a letdown afterwards, you know? And But I understand, you know, you're always gonna have like a best episode and it's unfair to be like, every episode has to be better than the next one, right? But I just kind of feel like there were some things that were done better in the previous episode than this one. So maybe it's unfair to label it as a regression, but I just didn't like it as much as Norwood Hitchhike. But like I said, you know, this beats the hell out of most stuff I play in indie horror. It's uh, like I, I can't emphasize enough. The atmosphere is great. It's a very unique concept. No one else is really doing home invasion stuff. So I hope that they continue to do um, continue with this theme in the future. I just think maybe it could stand to be a little less linear. If for nothing else, then when you break sequence with the pizza, it soft locks the game. Like that's kind of, you know, things like that are, are a consequence of the game being a little too linear. And I think that you could have a little more freedom, you know, in the part that everyone's waiting for where she's in the house, she's upstairs with the knife, right? But then all you end up doing is you duck into the closet and then you run down the stairs and the game ends. I just think it could be a little, little more interactive. Uh, but again, you know, I'm, I'm no game developer. I know that sort of thing is hard to do. Uh, to, to give the player more agency, but I think it would definitely help elevate the series to do that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Fierce Fathom Carson House. Like I said, great stuff overall. Just a, a few little, little tweaks here and there, and I think it could have been even better than Norwood Hitchhike, which was really good, so. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Fierce Fathom Carson House in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.